And welcome to your Gold Market Update and Charts of the Day for today, the 24th of May, 2023. Hope you're having a good Wednesday so far. And it is the middle of the Asian session, and we're going to just have a look at what's coming across the news right now. Of course, there was a weaker session on Wall Street overnight after mixed PMI data. The manufacturing PMI was weaker than expected, services PMI slightly stronger. But the major reason was that debt ceiling progress doesn't seem to be going anywhere very fast, very soon. There are talks ongoing, but now the market's getting a little touchy, I think, uh, after being quite tolerant over the last few days. So we saw the Nasdaq and the S&P 500 pulled back from the top of their recent ranges. Uh, US futures are mildly positive so far, but Asian markets are really a sea of red following that weak US lead. ASX is down around 0.4% at this stage. European futures are also pointing to a cautious open. And we also saw the VIX moving up from its 18-month lows yesterday, suggesting the market's getting uncomfortable. US dollar index moved higher yesterday, it's sitting just beneath its 200 EMA on the back of bond yields rising slightly. Gold, however, managed to hold its short-term support overnight. It's fairly neutral today so far. Copper was also just above its six-month lows in a short-term trading range. But this morning in Asian trading has breached that to the downside. It'll be interesting to see how much there is in selling pressure to push it further downwards. All, however, was strong overnight and retesting resistance of a short-term range. And that should be moved by the EIA data that's due out later tonight. Bitcoin remains within the $3,000 range. Uh, there was a small bounce of support level just over that 26500 level, sitting around about 27 this morning in Asia. The Reserve Bank of New Zealand rate decision is out as expected. It was quarter percent to the upside, but we did see massive drops in the Kiwi across the board against almost every cross as the statement that came out with that suggested a more dovish tone than has been the case previously. UK PPI and CPI are out this afternoon with the Bank of England Governor speaking later on today after those are released. And German business climate numbers are also due. Very little out of the US today, but tomorrow we get US preliminary GDP numbers and weekly jobs. And then on Friday, the big one of the week, which is the PCE data which essentially is the Fed's favourite inflation measure. Of course, debt ceiling negotiations will remain a major story as that June the 1st deadline approaches. A couple of charts are corner right. We'll start in the ASX. And we're looking at WebGen. I just want to put up the weekly chart first of all, just to show you how important this level around about 750 is. Uh, we had one move above a key level previously uh, at around about 650. We moved up a dollar accordingly and you can see the gap potentially up to around about ten dollars that's the long-term potential in this if we look at a short-term chart you can see today's price action has breached that 750 level fairly significantly off the highs of the day so worthwhile having a look at this towards the back end of the day or even tomorrow to make sure that this buying pressure continues but you can see the high candle there and this was on the back of positive corporate news. If we look at the Kiwi cross, we're going to look at the GB pound Kiwi there. You can see on the 30 minute chart, that was the initial move higher after that rate statement came out from the RBNZ. And you can see now we're moving further higher again after a small pause. So we need context. Let's have a look at the daily chart. Uh, and you can see here, this is a really important level that we're looking at right now. There is the level of interest that we're moving above. Potential upside on this could be, if we bring it in closer, could be as high as maybe 75 pips from where we are now in the first instance. Certainly testing 202 looks on the cards and could be breached as early as today on this. It's, it is a technical double bottom on the daily chart. So one to keep an eye on over the coming hours. But bear in mind, there is that GB pound data out later this afternoon. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.